Hi, my name is uh, Troy. I'm here to talk about uh, forage fetching. Um, and a few things to keep in mind. I'm going to briefly explain you. Um, one, uh, to start with, I like to use the table. Uh, you can do it on the ground. Uh, there are two things a dog feels more comfortable on the ground. They feel like they can get away, rebel. Um, and then if you put them on the table, if, if they feel like they have a harder time to get away, they may cooperate a little bit more. Two, I like uh, not have to bend, bend over all the time. Uh, it's easy right here. Good. Um, I sometimes use a uh, line. Um, that is because some uh, dogs tend to bow their head down so much. With this, and if if hyper dogs are trying to get away all the time, it will give you some control. The slides, and you clip it on the collar. Have another one. Another. Um. Okay. I use different, different, different uh, tools. Things that I put in the mouth. Uh, there's many, many different things, and every trainer does it differently. Uh, my favorite tool is uh, glove. A yeah, thick glove. Uh, it's because of the first uh, step of teaching the dog to hold. Not fat, just the hold. Um, it's very nice. I digest that for everyone because once you use that, you always use that. Second one I like is the paintbrush roller. Simple, cheap, easy. It's very light. Easy for the dog to grab on. Uh, the beginning part of the fetch. Uh, that's easy because it's very light. Easy for the dog to grab on. Uh, so I tend to use that. Both of those primary. And then later you want to show the dog to hold different things. Not just this. So I avoid real game. Why? Because if the dog has a bad experience or if you messed up and it becomes uh, a negative thing for the dog. Uh, so if you mess up here, the dog would be the same with birds, rabbits, whatever. So I avoid game in the beginning. Uh, just use whatever. So, uh, so there's a few different things that I make a dog hold later on when he understands the command a little more. This I use after I teach the dog fetch. The reason why because the hold is kind of hard to big. So I wait till later. That's one use for tool. Uh, big dummy, plastic. Feels funny for dogs. Uh, I'm see a small dummy. Uh, this one is very old, but I like it because it has a uh, sand in it. So if all the weight goes down one side, 
it's kind of funny for dogs to hold, but it helps teach that comfortable hold. Um, and there's one step in fetching where the dog had to learn to grab, fetch off the ground. So some dogs struggle with that. So I like something that elevated. So the dog, dog can easy. Then later we start getting ready for game, getting closer. I use a it's a dummy, but with a uh, rabbit fur. And it helps them get comfortable with the feeling of fur. And then later I will put wings right on here. The dog get used to the wings before the real game. Um, and then I use real game. Uh, now, I think it's very important for me to emphasize, you can have all the tools, but your attitude, your energy, vibe, is very important. Um, if you get frustrated or you're not in a good mood, wait till next time. Your frustration is not gonna help the dog. You lose that bond with the dog once you get frustrated and communication is not as smooth. Um, I've done this a few times now and I know it will work. Um, there's some dogs are more sensitive um, some dogs are soft, uh, they, sh they sh shut down easy. Uh, some dogs are tough, high drive, high energy. Some are mellow. Some have a lot of food drive. So you have to work around the dog with the dog wants, needs, and then see from there. Um, age. Um, the good time is usually about eight months, um, and after. Before that, we have to think about, uh, the dog mentally developing, okay? So they need to have, you know, experience being in the field, understand the bond with you, and everything before you go on the table. And that usually happens about eight months or after. Um, if they've been exposed to a lot and everything, you can younger, but I do not suggest it to anybody who's not experienced, okay? Um, I've had dogs, my friend, a year and a half, I was able to do it. Um, you wait too late and kind of get harder and harder, uh, but so far it's not too bad. Um, sometimes I use uh, treats, treats, uh, all kinds of treats can use. Uh, Obviously, you find something that, that the dog likes. Some people use cheese, they put little blocks of cheese after each hold or whatever. Um, some people. Mm. Now, you don't want too big of a treat because you're gonna go through a lot and you want to keep the dog healthy. So. This, you don't need the whole thing. You just even this is now. Now it's perfect. <laughs> so, no. uh, so 
two things I see why people fail or messed up or doesn't work. Two reasons. One, um, you're frustrated. Don't get frustrated. Okay, once you get frustrated, the dog and you don't have that bond anymore. You have, a, have faith in yourself that you will do it. Be patient. And just keep going on with it. It will happen. Some dogs take longer. Some are quick. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just keep up with it. It will pay off for the next 14 years. Who knows? 14 years of hunting. You have a dog that been you game, likes it. It's all been positive. Most important, you won't get frustrated. Just keep up with it. Uh, number two is oh, uh, Russian. And some people see like you think it's the race. Don't race it. Just relax. Make sure the dog really understands each step before going on to the next one. So the first step, the whole man. You want the dog to understand the whole. Very important. You see the dog about to drop it, you tell the dog hold. You say, okay, hold, and it come. Very important. Don't skip, 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 skip. Once you skip a step, and we have to go back to baby steps, and that will be harder than it was the first time. Just don't skip steps. Don't get frustrated. Be patient. Go through it. They will get it. So that's pretty much summarized the introduction. Uh, so now we just gotta get some dogs and see from there. Uh, so you two dogs. I never been on the table before, ever. So. Uh, See how that goes.